This is the reality of owning an SMMA agency, the real truth of what it actually is like. Welcome back to the channel. This is the reality of owning an SMMA agency coming from a owner who hit 10k a month and we've been operating it for a year and a half now. So if you guys know me, my name is Dylan, entrepreneur, engineer, and sales engineer. I started my first business at 18. It was a landscaping business at the time. Drop shipping was climbing up. And now I have a agency. And this video actually tells you about the pros and cons and the reality of a social marketing media, social media marketing agency. So definitely has been a trend for the past two years, three years. And don't get me wrong, we've hit 10k a month in revenue on monthly reoccurring uh, revenue. So we usually have our clients sign for three months. The biggest thing is with the agency, it's, it's, we'll start with the good stuff. The good stuff is when you do get a client for three months, you have three months to prove to them while you're getting paid on a retainer, why they should continue to work with you. So the good thing is it is flexible. You can, as long as you do the work, depending on if you're doing social media management or lead generation slash paid advertising, um, it's not that much work. The real work comes from building your systems, your SOPs for your team if you're expanding, because I found it challenging to expand past that mark. And even in the 8K a month area, which we were hovering at for a long time, um, you need systems and, and operations to really scale your revenue. So good thing is it's flexible. You can work remotely. You can have virtual meetings with your clients. However, that being said, business is always better done face to face. A lot of business owners you deal with. So if you're doing local social media marketing, you're going to be dealing with older brick and mortar business owners who care about the face and face to face value. Another good thing about the agency is that it literally costs hardly any money to start compared to any business. So 10K a month, let's say you're profiting 70% of your profit margin. So you have 30% in expenses. That's seven grand in profit a month. If you did that consistently, you'd be at 80 something thousand a year. Think about a restaurant. A restaurant costs a million plus to open usually, and the profit margins are slim. So you're spending a million plus, you're spending seven figures just to say you're open for business. And a restaurant usually does 5% bottom line. Most average, very average Joe Schmo restaurant owners. In fact, we had a client that was a restaurant owner that, see, this is the bad part of it. You're reliant on your client's income. So before I talk about that, back to profit margins. For a restaurant to do $80,000 in profit margins, they would have to do 10% bottom line at 800K a year in sales, right? So... Profit margins are in extremely high and you're very low risk because you don't have a lot of expenses. You don't have a lot of burn. So those are the two good things about SMMA. And then the third thing is you get to network with a lot of different cool people and you're going to learn everything. You're going to learn your own marketing. You're going to do sales, right? That could be good or bad. That might be a bad thing because in this industry, you have a lot of churn. So you're going to be doing sales a lot and you're going to learn how to build systems again. You're going to learn how to deal with clients, maintain clients, etc. So those are the pros of a SMMA at where I'm standing from. And I think I've beaten most SMMA owners in terms of signing on clients and hitting revenue. I don't even think most SMMAs hit 100K per month. And if they do, it's a lot of ad spend. I did it very lean with 70% profit margins. Um, another thing that is, I would say, let's move on to the bad. So the bad is, like I said, the bad is you have to always do sales. You're going to have churn, right? I talked about the restaurant client we had. We worked with them for eight months. They could not pay the invoice anymore because their operations was fucked. So you're heavily reliant on how well your client performs. The second thing is you're, 
your own boss, right? But really all your clients are your bosses. They're going to be demanding things. They're going to be demanding service. Why isn't this like this? Where's the performance, etc. Right? So you always have to meet expectations when you sign on new clients and you're going to learn, but lots of clients have unrealistic expectations. And that's an issue with this industry. They think that if you are on social media, you can get them results and you can get them results. But again, you're just the marketing piece of one segment of their business. Another bad thing again, is if you're uncomfortable with talking to people, you have to cold call. If you guys check out my last year's YouTube videos, I was cold calling even this year, you have to call people, you have to do outbound sales. And that's where 90% of the work comes from initially is signing on your first client. It's going to take so much time and effort. And the thing is like, if you're not good at sales, you don't want to outbound that because that's the most critical task. So you have to do the sales 90% of it. Once you sign it on the next 10%, which is actually like a hundred percent of your reputation and work will be maintaining and dealing with the client. So SMA is a good business model for beginners, especially owning a landscaping business. And now I work in high ticket sales. However, it is very, very hard to scale up quickly. A lot of things you see online, online business is not as you see, as it seems. I could be sitting here saying I made half a mil this year or I, or I generated half a million dollars through selling, but that's not your bottom line. So always be aware of that. Um, but yeah, very beginner friendly business. You can learn everything yourself. <laughs> oh, the allergies. And the biggest thing, like I said, is just the sales aspect and churn. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, leave a comment if you agree with my thoughts. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate all the support. Let's hit 1K subs. I'm documenting my journey to greatness. See you guys then.